Welcome to St. John's Episcopal Church in Wisconsin Rapids. Today is the last Sunday of the church year. Traditionally, that day is associated with Christ the King. When all our stories and all the experiences of the year are summed up in just being able to proclaim that this Jesus who was born amongst us, who lived amongst us, died and rose again, takes his place ultimately with the Father in heaven. And the promise is that we will join him there. So on this day, let us celebrate the King of Kings and at the same time celebrate the promise that our place is with him in the kingdom of God. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, and blessed be God's kingdom, now and forever. Amen. Almighty God, to you all hearts are open, all desires known, and from you no secrets are hid. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty and everlasting God, whose will it is to restore all things in your well-beloved Son, the King of kings and Lord of lords, mercifully grant that the peoples of the earth, divided and enslaved by sin, may be freed and brought together under his most gracious rule, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. A reading from Ezekiel. Thus says the Lord God, I myself will search for my sheep and will seek them out. As shepherds seek out their flocks when they are among their scattered sheep, so I will seek out my sheep. I will rescue them from all the places to which they have been scattered on a day of clouds and thick darkness. I will bring them out from the peoples and gather them from the countries and will bring them into their own land, and I will feed them on the mountains of Israel, by the water courses, and in all the inhabited parts of the land. I will feed them with good pasture, and the mountain heights of Israel shall be their pasture. There shall be there they shall lie down in good grazing land, and they shall feed on rich pasture on the mountains of Israel. I myself will be the shepherd of my sheep. And I will make them lie down, says the Lord God. I will seek the lost, and I will bring back the strayed. And I will bind up the injured, and I will strengthen the weak. But the fat and the strong I will destroy. 
I will feed them with justice. Therefore, thus says the Lord God to them, I myself will judge between the fat sheep and the lean sheep. Because you push with flank and shoulder and butted at all the weak animals with your horns until you scattered them far and wide, I will save my flock and they shall no longer be ravaged and I will judge between sheep and sheep. I will set up over them one shepherd, my servant David, and he shall feed them. He shall feed them and be their shepherd and I, the Lord, will be their God and my servant David shall be prince among them. I, the Lord, have spoken the word of the Lord. Psalm 100. Be joyful in the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness, and come before his presence with a song. Know this, the Lord himself is God. He himself has made us, and we are his. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving. Go into his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and call upon his name. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his faithfulness endures from age to age.
Christ, according to Matthew. Jesus said, When the Son of Man comes in his glory, and all the angels with him, then he will sit on the throne of his glory. All the nations will be gathered before him, and he will separate people one from another, as a shepherd separates the sheep from the goats. And he will put the sheep at his right hand, and the goats at the left. Then the king will say to those at his right hand, Come, you that are blessed by my Father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. For I was hungry, and you gave me food. I was thirsty, you gave me something to drink. I was a stranger, and you welcomed me. I was naked, and you gave me clothing. I was sick, and you took care of me. I was in prison, and you visited me. Then the righteous will answer him, Lord, when was it that we saw you hungry and gave you food or thirsty and gave you something to drink? And when was it that we saw you as a stranger and welcomed you or naked and gave you clothing? And when was it that we saw you sick or in prison and visited you? And the king will answer them, Truly I tell you, just as you did it to one of the least of these who are members of my family, you did it to me. Then he will say to those at his left hand, You that are cursed, depart from me into the eternal fire, prepared for the devil and his angels. For I was hungry, and you gave me no food. I was thirsty, and you gave me nothing to drink. I was a stranger, and you did not welcome me. Naked, and you did not give me clothing. Sick and in prison, and you did not visit me. Then they also will answer, Lord, when was it that we saw you hungry, or thirsty, or a stranger, or naked, or sick, or in prison, and did not take care of you? Then he will answer them, Truly I tell you, just as you did, it, did not do it to one of the least of these, you did not do it to me. And these will go away into eternal punishment, but the righteous into eternal life. The Gospel of the Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. It seems strange right now to be talking about a gospel lesson that speaks of being able to identify with people who are sick and being able to see them and enter into their lives because we live in a moment we live in a time in which we're all wearing masks. We sometimes can't see the faces behind those masks. We live in a time when we're being asked, being encouraged, being almost commanded to stay home in order to keep people safe, in order to keep ourselves safe. And so doing, we don't see each other. We don't see our families at Thanksgiving. We don't see our friends. And we certainly aren't going around looking to see, look at strangers and see strangers in the world around us. And yet here's the gospel put before us. Here's the gospel that says that that God is a God who does not simply stay in the heaven of heavens. That he identifies with the people he has created. Identifies so closely with them, in fact, that when we feed another person, or care for another person, or visit another person, we are actually feeding and caring and visiting God. And likewise, if we leave someone hungry or thirsty or lonely, we are doing that to God. This is the amazing part of the story of our relationship with God. We can talk all we want about how strong or 
weak our relationship with God is. But the true measure, the true measure of our relationship with God is how it energizes us to go into the world and see God in his creation, in his creatures, in other men and women, boys and girls, regardless of age, regardless of status. Do we see the presence of God, the image of God, in the world around us, and especially in the people around us? On this Sunday, when we celebrate the King of Kings and Lord of Lords, our thoughts and our images may be taken up into heaven to see castles and thrones and glory and the angels surrounding the throne and crying out, holy, holy, holy. But that isn't the image that is given to us in either the lesson from Ezekiel or from the gospel. God identifies himself with the shepherd who comes to take care of his sheep. God identifies himself with the sick and the poor and the hungry and the thirsty and the imprisoned. He says, if you want to celebrate my kingship, if you want to celebrate me and my presence, then you will live in the world and you will be with others and you will care for others and you will learn to see me in others. And there's the challenge before us that if we truly want to celebrate Jesus Christ as King, if we truly want to celebrate this day and the power of God's love to transform life itself, we don't necessarily look up and try to find heaven. Instead, we look out and see his face in the lives of others and walk with those people, live with those people, and be one with those people, regardless of who they are where they are. For in God's kingdom, they are the image of God, simply as, as we are. And they are our brothers and sisters in Christ. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. As one family, we now proclaim our faith as it was given to us in our baptism. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Prayers of the people. Jesus the Christ, you reign in glory as our King. And to you we lift our voices in prayer, saying, Lord, hear our prayer. That we may serve God with gladness and generosity, discovering his likeness in those who hunger and thirst, in those who are threadbare and in prison, and in those who are sick, lonely, depressed, sorrowful, and rejected. Let us pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may that we may take charge for sharing our ideas and lending our support to those who lead the church. For Michael, our presiding bishop, 
Matthew, our diocesan bishop, David, our priest. Lord, hear our prayer. God of freedom, we pray for our nation and all the nations of the world, for peace and unity across barriers of language, color, and creed, for elected and appointed leaders, that they would serve the common good. Lord, hear our prayer. God of peace, we pray for this community, for our local leaders, for our schools and our shops, for our neighborhoods and our workplaces. Kindle in every heart a desire for equality, respect, and opportunity for all. Give us courage to strive for justice and peace among all people, beginning here at home. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sea and the dry land, molded by the Creator's imagination, that we may cherish the gifts they bring forth and be good stewards of their fragile ecosystems. Let us pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Christ Jesus, King of glory, grant comfort and healing for all who suffer in body, mind, or spirit, and for those who give them care. We now join our voices to pray aloud for those in need. Let us pray today for Bob, Janine, Jane, Irene, Steve, Crystal, Aaliyah, Joan, Katie, Bob, Barb, Amy, Dan, Sarah, and all others affected by the coronavirus around the world. O oh God Almighty, Lord, hear our prayer. God of grace, we pray for those who have died, for the faithful in every generation who have worked for justice, for prophets who called us to racial reconciliation, for martyrs who died because of hatred, and for all the communion of saints. We pray especially for Ruth Metcalf, James Stewart, Jan Robach, and Eric Jacks. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray. Almighty and ever-living God, we thank you for the gift of your grace and presence throughout this time and in these services which bring us together. Hear our prayers for this parish family, both members and friends. Grant us all things necessary for our common life and bring us all to be one in heart and mind within your church, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And may God's peace be with us all, now and always.
because our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into tempta temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. In union, O Lord, with all your children who cannot attend the Eucharist and receive Holy Communion, we offer you our praise and thanksgiving. We remember your death, Lord Christ. We proclaim your resurrection. We await your coming in glory. Since we cannot receive you today in the sacrament of your body and blood, come spiritually into our hearts. Cleanse and strengthen us with your grace, Lord Jesus, and let us never be separated from you. May we live in you and you in us, both in this life and in the life to come. Amen. The blessing, mercy, and peace of God Almighty, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, be upon you this day and remain with you forever. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord.